Hello everybody and welcome to our channel, The Audio Couple. Yeah, so today we're doing a review on the Bowson Wilkins uh, Foundation Dio uh, wireless uh, loudspeakers. It's actually a stereo, of course there's the name the Dio that it originates from. I think uh, quite, you know, a high-end product but a lifestyle product. So it, it, I think it's designed for a certain um, market segment. Um, people that want uh, an elegant design but still retaining high performance. So if we can just do a quick overview of the loudspeaker, yes, uh, typically in the uh, Bowers and Wilkins uh, type of uh, design, you know, with the, uh, the, the, the tweeter and uh, housed in its own sub-enclosure, let's call it that, and then the, let's call it the roofer mid-range unit in a separate enclosure. Uh, of course, uh, high-end uh, or let's call it cutting-edge technology, yeah, they make use of the continuum technology uh, used in the mid-range uh, hoofer and of course they also use the same technology in the 7 and the 800 series and then of course they make use of a dome tweeter but this time around it's actually a carbon dome tweeter and then within the actual unit um, they've got two class D amplifiers uh, two times 100 28 watt uh, class D amplifiers driving the a separate one driving the hoofer and a separate one driving uh, the tweeter and then of course there's a, a built-in DAC uh, and coupled I would say with a DSP to ensure that there's a proper crossover frequency but also to ensure that there's um, an even spread of the frequency uh, domain. Then uh, if we just look at the physical dim dimensions um, the loudspeaker is uh, about 20 centimeters wide it's about 40 centimeters meters in height, total height, and then about 30 centimeters deep. Um, you get it in two colors, um, the, the, let's call it the dark, uh, dark sort of a black, but it's more like a gunmetal uh, uh, black color, and then you get it in a nice uh, white uh, shade as well, uh, very decent, and of course um, uh, it's got a custom made, let's call it um, stand, uh, and you can actually purchase the, the two stands uh, separately or uh, of course you can uh, buy it then as a set. Um, but I would say I would recommend you to actually also consider the stand. It actually rounds off the actual design and you actually physical, uh, physically bolt the, uh, the stand to the loudspeaker. So there's very good uh, coupling between the stand and the actual loudspeaker. Um, and then, of course, uh, what is different about these loudspeakers is, of course, all of us know um, your wireless speakers, but these loudspeakers, of course, they're stereo, so that makes them, uh, the, the, that differentiates them, but they're also totally wireless. So uh, when you actually power them up, they actually quickly configure themselves, and uh, uh, you actually use the app to assign a left-hand channel and a right-hand channel, and then they actually communicate between the two loudspeakers to ensure that they uh, do a precise uh, stereo uh, configuration that the, of course this, this, the, the sound is then produced in stereo format so this is the first differentiation point and they do it wirelessly there's no umbilical cord and then finally what also makes them different is they can actually stream a music via your Wi-Fi uh, directly uh, to the actual loudspeaker so they don't uh, go via your Bluetooth connection from your phone they can actually by the way they can also do that so you can actually use your phone uh, to stream music via Bluetooth to the actual loudspeakers or you can do it via let's call it Tidal Connect or Spotify Connect where you then um, you know stream the uh, music directly to to the loudspeakers and of course this is better because there's a wider bandwidth so uh, you know the the compression ratio of the music is less and then um, it's just streamed out then directly to the deck of the loudspeakers it goes to the power amplifiers and then they repro reproduce the, the music and I would say uh, the the reproduction is really I would say um, uh, extremely uh, good you know we had a, a good time with it um, for me what was different is um, actually the frequency response that they state on the specifications is from 25 Hertz all the way to 33 kilohertz and there you could see um, it's quite a broad uh, frequency response it's uh, equal to floor standing speakers and uh, yes I actually believe the uh, specification the loudspeaker definitely extends uh, you know way down I would say to about 25 Hertz I think it's accurate of course they did it um, it's this time um, it's actually a closed box design um, but uh, with a closed box design to get the same type of efficiency out of the loudspeakers you have to have a lot of power behind it and that's why they've used the 185 watt 
power amplifiers behind the uh, mid uh, bass driver to 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 get uh, decent sound pressure levels. But um, the integration was done, uh, you know, it's perfectly done. I, I didn't, couldn't uh, perceive any problems with the integration between the tweeter and the woofer. It's just excellently done. And then another ac aspect that I want to highlight as well is that um, the loudspeaker actually produced quite a musical. Um, uh, a playback or reproduction. Um, uh, what for me was very interesting is in the voices, in, in female voice or voices or also in, in male voices, you actually, um, the actual emotional content uh, of um, the music actually gets reproduced uh, in the loudspeaker. And for me, that is, of course, that will um, ensure a very high rating on the actual audio performance of the loudspeakers. It's, uh, two things. The first of all is the integration is done. It's actually three things. Uh, the integration was done well between the tweeter and the mid-range or the mid-bass driver. The other thing is that um, the, uh, it actually extends very low in the, the frequency, uh, you know, lower frequency band, and the tops are very crystal clear. And then the, the last aspect is then this uh, musicality or to bring across uh, the vocals uh, and the emotion of, of the vocals uh, in the music. Yes, yeah, so part of the uh, BMW Formation uh, series, uh, there's actually uh, another loudspeaker as well. Um, there's a sound bar, there's also a subwoofer, and then also uh, a corner loudspeaker, which they they call the, the formation wedge. Uh, it's also a loudspeaker, you know, a wireless loudspeaker that you can deploy in a corner. And all of these uh, products are really uh, designed uh, with, uh, you know, specialized materials. Um, and the overall look and feel is really, um, I would say, high end and um, excellent lifestyle products. And uh, what is nice about the actual uh, DOs is, of course, then it's stereo. Um, and they produce this, what I call a full range reproduction. So in my uh, listening area, although it's quite large, uh, the, the loudspeakers actually produce a very good performance, you know, extended bass. So I won't really uh, recommend you uh, deploying an additional subwoofer. I would rather say that the subwoofer in the formation series is um, designated to be used with the uh, sound bar. And then also maybe another aspect that I can actually call out is to say that the stand is around 600 uh, millimeters high or 60 centimeters from the ground and uh, well integrated again, uh, but it's got this metallic uh, feel to it, um, which I think is actually, um, you know, a type of an aluminium, but with this um, high um, use, let's call it, or, or, or good use of materials, you know, just the look and feel is just excellent. Um, and then if we can then just finally go over to the um, actual performance or my performance rating. So uh, for the performance, uh, the, the audio reproduction, I gave it a very good uh, 9 out of 10 or 90%. Um, then for the build quality, I gave it a 96% because uh, it's just flawless, the actual design. But perhaps some people won't, um, you know, prefer the actual metallic feel to the loudspeaker, etc. But um, actually, uh, if you uh, consider the design, the industrial design and the aspects behind it, excellent use of material and the way it looks I mean it, it just um, you know it just oozes um, you know for me um, a high performance uh, and top-notch type of look and feel um, and um, even uh, the sound quality you know speaks of that um, so I think that the sound quality actually benefited from from the actual design um, then on the the value I gave it about 87 percent uh, for value or 8.7 out of 10 yes I think it's a bit more on the more expensive side so I think for the actual market segment, which uh, BMW uh, designed these loudspeakers for, I think it's 100% uh, fit um, because of the, the excellent use of materials, the actual audio reproduction and the ease of use. Um, that combined into an excellent uh, product. And then overall, I gave it about a 91% for an all a well-rounded uh, product. Um, excellent audio. I won't say um, that you can play it very loud. It's not designed to uh, give you these high sound pressure levels, but uh, it goes loud enough. You know, with that type of market in mind, people that won't play it very loud, uh, people that's more after quality than basically loudness. Okay, guys, and then uh, welcome to Teresa. Uh, yes, and uh, Teresa was also a very uh, important input to the actual, uh, you know, review, uh, typically related to the sound quality, uh, but also regarding the aesthetics and, and that type of thing. Uh, I think one thing that I haven't spoken about uh, uh, as yet is the actual app. Uh, Bowers and Wilkins has got actually a app uh, that manages the whole uh, formation series, uh, of course, including the DO. Um, and what is nice about the app 
app is you can download it yeah, from any app store for your smartphone and uh, you can then actually link uh, different streaming services uh, to this app so I've linked a uh, Tidal uh, to the app um, and then uh, via the tap of uh, via the app of course you can uh, control the volume etc um, but what is good about it it actually streams the content directly uh, to the DO to the loudspeakers which of course gives you the best uh, sound quality uh, because via the Bluetooth although they've got the capability to also uh, stream via Bluetooth from your smartphone um, I think the direct option is better because uh, there is some compromise of course in sound quality via uh, Bluetooth uh, then maybe another important uh, aspect that I haven't spoken about before is they've actually got some manual controls in the front of the loudspeaker you can actually uh, pause or play um, you know the content and you can increase uh, the, the the volume uh, at the front of, of the loudspeaker um, I know that look um, I know the one day we were actually, you know, we're still working from home due to the COVID situation um, and we actually uh, streamed some music in the background and it was quickly, I just opened the BMW app from my uh, smartphone and uh, we select uh, the content to, to, to stream and it was seamless. The loudspeakers powered themselves up um, via the Wi-Fi network um, and you started uh, streaming the music. Yes, and it was a full sound. Yes, exactly. Yes, yes. I, I, I think that's what I also wanted to say. Yeah, so definitely uh, it was a full sound um, and uh, there was definitely the, uh, like I stated previously, the emotional content of the music came across, even just for, for playing in the background. And then, of course, you can deploy the loudspeakers uh, in any room. Uh, in our case, we deployed it in the main uh, stereo, uh, let's call it living room. Um, of course, it's quite a, quite a big room, but it still it produced a good enough volume. But I think that B&W opted for uh, sound quality over volume so it won't go, go very loud these loudspeakers but they definitely produce high quality uh, sound quali uh, you know uh, performance um, and then of course uh, you can either um, uh, have them together with the stands which is about uh, 60 centimeters in height or 600 millimeters uh, or you can uh, deploy them without the stands um, they've, they've got some feet uh, at the bottom but when you actually use them with the stands you have to secure it with some screws to the actual sound and that uh, to the stands and that also contributes uh, to towards the, the the sound quality um and then um i know you also i remember with the day when you took it out of the boxes it was like just plug and play yeah indeed yeah um, yeah. There wasn't a lot of yeah, issues. Um, it's got a small booklet that actually comes uh, with the, the loudspeakers and it's a, I think it's a three-step approach. Um, you power up the loudspeakers. Uh, in our case it actually asked for a software upgrade. It first did the software upgrade on the left-hand channel a loudspeaker uh, and then it did it on the right-hand uh, side loudspeaker. Uh, both the two loudspeakers uh, did a reset and then the loudspeakers were ready to use. And I think the whole procedure from getting them uh, up and working, of course after we assembled them, carefully assembled, there's a few screws that you need to assemble the loudspeakers. Uh, after you assemble them, um, you know, it was, I think, 10 minutes uh, and we were ready to go. And from this uh, point go, they produced very good sound results. Uh, of course, we first uh, tried them via the Bluetooth connection, via our smartphones. That worked pretty well. But the moment we connected uh, via the direct streaming, you know, uh, via a Tidal Connect or um, Spotify Connect, um, they actually produced the best sound quality uh, for me I must say it was via Tidal um, and a very um, you know these speakers are really um, you know capable of good sound quality it was really enjoyable and uh, we enjoyed our time with it and I would just like to say thank you to Omation to make uh, that made this review possible um, and there of course uh, Galaya uh, thank you again uh, for for this opportunity to review these last speakers I really think um, um, you know it is a, a plus uh, for any home uh, they will really fit into any modern type of decor um, and um, they either like a centerpiece or they can actually just disappear in your home decor so very elegant design yeah. um, I must say a very good loudspeaker and uh, very good sound quality so basically guys uh, this is us then um, the audio couple thank you for, for supporting our channel uh, this is me Nimrod and Teresa um, if you really like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of our content please uh, subscribe and if you want to get notifications hit the bell but this is us guys then Nimrod and Teresa signing off cheers